It's my absolute pleasure to get on site with Alex Simon from Neo Electrical Solutions. Thank you for joining me. Thanks very much, Gary. Alex won the EFIX Smart Home Award in association with Ring, and this is a beautiful smart home. But I've got a question before we start. The celebrations that you released on Instagram, did you spill any red wine? Uh, uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, all the red wine did stay in the glass on that, on that occasion, I must say. <laughs> is the property we're in today typical of the sort of things you do at Neo? Absolutely, yeah. Um, the, the job we're at today, uh, full smart home automation system, is exactly uh, the sort of jobs that we can we get involved with at Neo. So how do we go about selecting the products and the locations for the lights in this area? We work quite closely with, A, the, the client, the end user, but as well with Collingwood and their um, design team. You know, from the client, he wanted um, really sustainable fittings in terms of maintenance, didn't want to have to touch anything. Budget wasn't as much of an issue, but again, had to see kind of a bit of value for money for there. In terms of the um, overall selection of products, you know, you'll notice in some of the beams, um, we use more spot fittings uh, with a more narrow dispersion to you know really illuminate the the grains in the oak whereas some of them are or more of a flood option so to really kind of illuminate the the open beam and the open barn sort of style we've got a certain feeling at the moment but obviously it's mid-afternoon we come into that evening and you can completely transform this space with the light as well can you absolutely so i mean everything's sort of dimmable throughout but not only that uh everything's done in zones or tiers so you've got the upper tiers the middle tiers and the lower tiers lower level so obviously we can have dimming independent for each of those but you know you don't have to think that far normally because it's all done preset as a scene you know so it's as simple as pressing you know an evening an afternoon or a morning setting and you know in theory the lights are preset to whatever is designed at that exact moment in time really always been a skeptic when it comes to smart because they say to me you've got to use your phone or your tablet in order to control your lights you get guests coming in or an older relative that can't work those sort of things the whole system falls down is that the case here alex uh, absolutely not gary so i mean like anything we always say like with these smart systems uh, they have to work first time every time especially when it comes to lighting so there's no good you know waiting for your wi-fi or some kind of connectivity on an ipad uh this job in particular we've got the hardwired switches throughout the property that are just running a cat six cable um to accommodate the rayco switches this switch in particular though is a wireless which has a lithium battery. Um, you know, many advantages for that are, especially in this situation, we've got the oak post, so completely impossible for us to get a cable in place to service that switch, uh, as well as it being, you know, just a lithium battery uh, operating wirelessly. We can have a switch this close to the pool. We don't have to worry about, you know, water ingress and all that sort of stuff. So you seem to have got it all covered, but you can use an app and there's some clever features then that you can do that because there's lots of properties around here, all controlled off the same app, isn't there? That is, yeah, that's true, actually. There's, on this particular property that we're on at the moment, this is the pool house. Um, we've got the main house uh, and various other guest properties, all controlled via the same app um, or same switches, um, because obviously using this system, we can have multiple sources of lighting, all controlled from multiple sw switches, all um, you know compiled into individual scenes or zones. So the client can quite literally control any light across the entire property or the estate from any switch or any property within, within that. So. It's quite a versatile system, really. And as it is a smart system, I'm still itching to see it work on an app for me, Alex. Absolutely, here we go. So um, let, let's start from, uh, from the ground and work our way up. So we start from the corners, then the lower level wall lights, yeah. lower tier, and then the upper tier. Bringing those in in stages. Obviously. Absolutely, yeah. and then of course, all these are dimmable, so then we can you know, work our way back using the app, slowly dim. Just bring those light levels down. I go behind us as well. Then you'll see. Put the gym on. Gym will come on. Seamless. There we go. Yeah, that is effortless. And now that's working locally through the Rayco app. Absolutely. So um, with this app being on the on the Wi-Fi network, the Wi-Fi network actually covers multiple houses on this property. But yeah, we can control any of these lights from anywhere on the property via this app. Now. People talk about being able to control their smart stuff from anywhere in the world. Is there anything you could do that this property could be controlled from anywhere? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, there's a number of systems that do offer that. Um, we actually have an LAN system as a, a back-end uh, solution to kind of take over multiple um, systems that are already in place. So okay. just to make it a little bit more simple. But yeah, that works from anywhere in the world. You brought me into the plant room to show me the brains behind the great technology. Just explain what we've got here. This is a you know real classic Rayco uh, control system using their Rack 8 system. So each of these boxes here gives us eight outgoing circuits. The Rack Link is where our switches are wired back to, uh, the Cat6 cables. You've got the bridge, which is effectively the brain behind the system. That's what our phone talks to. Uh, and then you've got this um, 230 volt uh, contact interface. So that's actually just some dry contacts for some various other bits and pieces. Okay, so our outgoing circuits come out to our transformers that are feeding our low voids down lights. Worries me now, because I'm thinking the length of the run and the size of the cables you have to take out there. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, and actually that it was on our mind. Uh, we did actually speak uh, in the years with the Collingwood Technical Department for that, just to confirm. And um, we were actually really surprised uh, with the power of these drivers and the fittings. Um, on one mil cable often is actually got up to about 80, 90 meters. Wow. Uh, wait for me to get someone from Collingwood here to, uh, to 
to define these numbers. But yeah, we were actually we've actually wired these in one five, which is massively over spec to be honest with you. But you know, it gives us options to upgrade the drivers for larger drivers, add more lights if they ever wanted to, that sort of stuff. So I like the way you spun that into a future proof in one as well. Absolutely, that's... absolutely. It's a beautiful property and a beautiful location, but that obviously brings some issues with being so rural, maybe about security. Can the lighting system help with that? Yeah, absolutely it can. So really this Reco system, the, the best thing for that is what we call occupancy simulation. So it basically gives the illusion that someone is living within the property or at the property through the lighting to even when they're not. So, you know, simple things like uh, the homeowner has a button by, beside the door, uh, home and away. As soon as they click that away setting, it kind of enters into this occupancy simulation. Okay. You know, the lights can come on in the kitchen for say half an hour to give the illusion someone's making dinner. Lights then come on down the hallway for just a couple of minutes, for enough, enough time for them to walk down. And then the, the lighting might come on in the living room at a really dim level to kind of give the effect that someone might be sitting there watching TV. Um, all just to basically give the illusion that someone is within the property when they're not. Okay, that is great. And, and it's another feature that probably people People don't look at when they're thinking about a smart lighting control, isn't it? No, absolutely. We do find that is uh, one of the most overlooked um, aspects or features of these systems, but it's one that people do generally get a lot of uh, a lot of use out of once once they are installed. I'm off to put a cash offer into the property we looked at today with Alex. If you're interested in nominating your company for any of the eFix awards, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. And if you want to check out one of the other award-winning videos, check it out just here.